In this tutorial, we will continue with the profile toolbar in the Sketcher Workbench. Let's see the splines. We can create splines by joining multiple points. How engineers do it? Before we start today's video, I would like to ask all my viewers to subscribe to my YouTube channel How Engineers Do It, to share the video among all of your friends, and also hit the bell icon to never miss another update. As we take the spline and click on the first point, it will ask you to click on the second point. And once you finish the second point, an arc is created based on the location where you place the third point. And as you go on, you can find that regular shapes are created based on the points you create, but they are smooth. As we create the next spline, and as we work, Sometimes it happens so that we'll have to connect two splines. So we have an option here to connect splines. So once we select the two splines, it gets connected. Let's see how we can work with the ellipse. Click on the ellipse tool and click on the ellipse center and click on the major axis and the minor axis so that's the creation of an ellipse let's see how we can create a line as i've shown before you can select the line and then create it by defining its endpoints you could also double click on the line and continuously create lines in the profile it's continuous whereas in the line it's discontinuous we have another option called as axis so once you click on axis and click on the first point and the second point what happens is you get the dotted lines so this is important when it comes to the sketcher in Katia because when you exit this particular line is not counted as you exit you can see that this line is disappearing so that means that line is not really considered as a solid geometry so basically those lines those axis lines are used to act as uh, the center line for symmetry and uh, in such cases where you don't want that line to disturb your uh, parent sketch you have another option called as point click on the point and then you can define the place where you want to creep the point by clicking or entering the coordinates directly over here or you could click the point where if you know the location of the point so in this case I create the point there if you zoom in you can see that the point is created right here that's about the profile toolbar stay tuned thank you